see that mark there? That's also 24 inches. And so this is basically how you can tell where the stud is in the wall. So that way, when you go ahead and reattach the baseboard, like so, once you go ahead and re reattach the baseboard, you'll be driving some screws through the uh, wood here. And then basically uh, where the stud is, where that cross mark is, just measure straight line down and right here. So you would have to be driven through the wood here, um, maybe two nails over here, and that would go ahead and put this baseboard nailed securely into a stud so that way it won't loosen up. So, and same thing for this side here, where this 24 inches was measured. So from here to there, you know, every time there's a mark, it's 24 inches, it goes straight down and in here. So you just drive your, drive your nails right in. Here's a tip that might save you some time. We have a hard foam, actually a hard plastic cord around here. And before we put it up and nail it to the baseboard, what we've done to save a little time is we have went ahead and put the nails in first. So we've hammered the nails in part way, so that way they'll be a lot easier to do to drive into the baseboard. What happens is if you're holding this trim, this quarter round, right up against the baseboard, and then you try to go and hold the nail and then hammer it, a lot of times the nail might slip and bounce out of your hand, or it might not penetrate this quarter round, especially since it's kind of a hard plastic. So in this case, what we're doing is we just put the quarter round on the ground here, and we go ahead and we drive the nails in first. What you want to do is you want to make sure when you drive in the nail that if you look at the position where the gap is that your nail goes through the quarter round and is actually going to be into the baseboard here, not into the little gap underneath. If it goes into the gap underneath, it's not going to attach to anything. So you drive the, sorry, we've got pug hair, dog hair. Drive the nail right through the quarter round and right into the, the wood. Now on this end, we're starting to have a larger gap. So in this case, if we do try to drive it through here, it's just going to go ahead and go right underneath into the gap. So what we do here is we just go ahead and drive the nail straight through on the top and it goes right into the tile. We prefer to go ahead and put the nail straight into the wood instead. But in this case, we have no choice. Since the gap is so large, we'll just drive it into the tile. And one last thing take a look here, notice that the ends, we have it cut at an angle. So this piece is going to be up against the wall, this piece here up against this wall. And so this is a hard foam, and the best tool we found to cut this is cut it carefully with a utility knife. Cut slowly, Cut a little at a time, maybe a, a fraction of an inch as you're penetrating the blade in. If you try to cut too hard, too fast, the quarter round can snap and break on you, or the knife can slip out of your hand and cut you. But you cut carefully, and it's going to work. Let's go ahead and hold it up and you'll see. Good match. Once we have everything nailed in, it'll help reduce the gap over there. So the next thing to do is just to go ahead and nail it in place.
We are almost done with the caulking and the baseboards over here and also the quarter round. So as you see, we have everything already set up. Just a little more layer of caulk in a couple of places to cover up gaps. But we're looking pretty good.